And no matter who you are, the Malaysian Airlines crash will impact your life. Starting with your 401k, KMBC 9's Keisha Henry is here to explain. Keisha? Lynn and Kelly, the stock market tumbled yesterday after the plane went down over Ukraine. But today, some hopeful signs. The Dow Jones is up 123 points. The NASDAQ rose 68 points. And the S&P rose 20 points. Now, often an international crisis like this can really trigger a spike in gas prices. Some are expecting that to happen because of this tragedy and because of the Israeli invasion of Gaza. But as KBC 9's Michael Mahoney shows us, this time it might be different. Since the early summer, gasoline prices have been creeping down. Now, some expect these crises to end that. Many tension in the Middle East seems to bring uh, raising the price of oil. Uh, so I, I anticipate in a couple of days we'll see higher gas prices. But energy consultant Chris Keel disagrees that there's going to be a spike. Probably not much. Here's why. The U.S. set a record for oil production in 2013. The fracking boom has led to more domestic oil. So the U.S. prices may not get bounced around so much by international tensions. So we're now seeing what it's like to be an oil producer. We have some control over oil prices. We have some control over gas prices. I doubt that they're going to go up at this point because it's late summer. Late in the vacation sense. Many families are either on vacation now or they're already back. And the website Gas Buddy says Kansas City, Missouri prices are in the high 330s to low 340s. In Overland Park, where the state tax is higher, they're in the mid-340s. So Keel is saying things have changed now that the U.S. produces more oil, making it less vulnerable. Michael Mahoney, KNBC, 9 News. The consultant says the next time gas prices might go up could be in the fall, because that's when refineries switch over to winter blends and supplies really start to grow tight. Lynn?